today I want to do a slightly different bookshelf pack. Yesterday's was quite formal and tonal. This is a great bookshelf pack for all your odds and ends. So what I normally like to do with these book packs or these bookshelf packs is find all your books that are lying around, from your books to your kids' books to recipe books or magazines, bulk pack them as your foundation because all those colors on the spines of the books create this fantastic foundation where you can tuck in all your other odd things that you often don't know where to put in your house, like the odd photo frames. This is an example here where yellow and blue and there's some mirrored ones there. Those all together somewhere else are a bit tricky to place, but in between all these bright books, going this way and that way, they sort of seem to just work and gel. The other thing that you can then put on the shelf is mementos on your travels, like here's a drum that we've got from somewhere, even your kids' pottery from school, little bits that need something to them, which they love to have displayed. Here's another piece that was painted somewhere. Um, these are from my childhood. The books, another tip is also try and do some of them quite neatly. So have some order. With, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it does create a little bit of order with a little bit of madness in between. So this is a great way of tidying up and showing off all kinds of things in your house that are lying around. But the top tip is to start with your books first. Collecting them up and not doing them all the same way, some up, some that way, and then playing with tucking in the frames and the little things that mean something to you and the odd bits around to create this kind of fun collection of things that I think work quite well together.